Are you ready? Welcome to Be Your Soul. I realize I haven't done a video in a while. Today, I'd like to talk to you about soulmates. I was watching a video about a Mexican artist talking about uh, her husband cheating on her and now having a new lady who is the one he used to cheat on with. So what happens when you're left alone and when you have kids and the man chooses to be someone else's husband, right? That completely breaks you apart. It breaks you open, it's a painful experience, but it is also um, an opening in our lives, an opening of um, reviewing our purpose. You know, eventually our life and our purpose is not to end in a relationship. Is not to end uh, Mary. It is a bigger purpose. So what happens when uh, God uh, frees your hands is that he's giving you the opportunity to uh, take a journey on your own. Like uh, the woman I have in my background, right? It seems like it's uh, dark at night, but there is a still light and there is light around her. And uh, she is taking a journey on her own. So many times uh, women are needed to take a journey in our own and um, without our husband and uh, maybe with our kids and maybe without our kids, right? Many times the journeys of our life are going to happen at night and are going to happen uh, without company. Uh, many times that's uh, where we are being directed is to walk a journey in our own. And the purpose is that uh, to open our eyes to bigger possibilities and uh, to understand that if the man we had uh, chose another woman, um, it was his choice. You know, uh, two people are needed to start a relationship. If he decided to marry someone else and leave you and leave you with your kids, it's his own decision. Uh, the circumstances in which the union uh, might have happened will have a karmic uh, consequence. However that happens, it's not up to you. Ultimately, you need to leave that relationship. You need to leave that hope. You need to leave that expectation that you're ever gonna come back together, right? You need to leave uh, that idea for now and start working on yourself. Uh, who do you need to forgive? And the first person I... Um, want to um, suggest that is you. You're the first person that need uh, forgiveness because the time that you spend in that relationship already uh, knowing and already feeling that uh, there is another person in the relationship and you wanting uh, the other person to confirm it to you when you already know it, right? Many times we wait long time because we already feel in situations. We can perceive, we can sense them. We know what it is. We are smart women, but we are waiting for the men to confirm. You don't need that. You need to trust in your own uh, wisdom, your own perception, your own ability to feel, right? Why do you wait so long? Is because you don't want to leave that relationship even though you know there is someone else. So when we already know there is someone else, um, I'd like you to think that God is giving you an opportunity to work on what you actually came to do here. And what you came to do, it was not only to have kids or to have a relationship uh, with a man. It was to work in a way where your life will have a meaning and will be uh, helping um, other people. And you might think that uh, your biggest happiness was when you were with your husband and your kids or your significant one. But uh, that's what your mind uh, sees right now. That's probably what your heart is feeling. That's where probably you are emotionally. You don't see your life beyond that circumstance, that situation, right? You don't see yourself outside of that box, of that box. But there is uh, actually a life outside of the box and outside of that relationship that is going to be much more fulfilling. I'm not here to tell you that it's going to be easy. It, it will get complicated at times. 
there will be times when you will be crying alone because you will not have someone to call and talk to. But there is also uh, plenty of resources that will come available to you that um, won't take a lot of your time or money and there will be conveniences. And uh, the more that you spend uh, time alone in the journey, you will find out that um, the less and less uh, your needs are to uh, ask for help and actually to rely on others um, or uh, relying on asking for favors, you will find that there are services that are provided, that there is people who is willing to help you, even though they're not part of your family, but you will be meeting new people. You will be joining new groups. You will be joining new organizations, new uh, activities. You will find new hobbies. You will find new talents. You will find a new beautiful mature woman. And that woman is going to be so attractive that you're going to be amazed of how many people is being attracted to you because you are uh, set free now. You are given all this time, all these opportunities, all these open doors, all this um, library full of information. Which book do you want to read? Uh, which training do you want to get? Uh, who do you want to be associated with? And who are you walking away from? That is your most important decision right now. Don't walk away from yourself, but walk away from anything that doesn't serve you anymore. I love you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Soulmates are not meant to stand, to stay in our lives forever. They are only temporary. And you have been, and you will be a soulmate in other uh, people's life. And they will have to accept and understand that, that you are only there temporarily. It's not going to be how they anticipate it to be. So if you will be temporary in someone else's life, then someone else uh, is also temporary in yours. You need to own your um, ability to succeed without approval, without having to check with anybody, and without needing to be the wife of a husband. I love you. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye.